Okay, in this video I'd like to continue on with my tutorials discussing complex analysis. Specifically, this is video number 5 and I'm going to discuss the relationship between Green's theorem and the divergence theorem. I'd like to draw your attention to my website universityphysicstutorials.com. Here I have all my videos archived and listed and have other bits and pieces which may be of interest to you. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you of the relevant videos and the previous videos in this section. Of course, we are discussing complex analysis, so the videos on uh, complex numbers are important. In video 1 in this section, I derive the Cauchy-Riemann equations. In videos 2 and 3, I derived Green's theorem using two different methods. And in video 4, I derived the divergence theorem. So what we're going to do in this particular video is show the relationship between Green's theorem and the divergence theorem. I suggest to you that Green's theorem is the two-dimensional version of the divergence theorem. In order to do this, we're going to manipulate each of the theorems but using a different vector field and later we will see if the two vector fields turn out to be equal. So let's suggest we're dealing with the vector field capital R in two dimensions R sub X I hat plus R sub Y J hat and the vector field capital A which is A sub X I hat plus A sub Y J hat. I have written the two theorems on the bottom of your screen. First looking at the divergence theorem. It says that if we take the anti-clockwise closed surface integral of the vector field capital A dotted with the vector area small da that's equivalent to calculating the volume integral of the divergence of A. If we look at Green's theorem where we take the closed line integral of a vector field let's say capital R with the infinitesimal line segment dl it's equivalent to calculating the surface integral of del r sub y del x minus del r sub x del y. So what we're going to do now is begin by looking at the divergence theorem and let's see in fact if Green's theorem is the two-dimensional version of the divergence theorem. First of all, let's look at the first component of the divergence theorem, the surface integral of a dot dA. If we rewrite this two-dimensional surface integral as a line integral, which is done down here, we get the following. We get the closed line integral, I probably should have a C written here, the closed line integral of a dot dL where dl is the infinitesimal line segment but we use the unit normal n hat to make life easier and invoke the dot product a dot n hat dl. Next if we look at the second component the volume integral of the divergence of a. This is on the bottom left of your screen. If we convert this from a two-dimensional function to a three-dimensional function we go to a surface integral and we still have the divergence of A. So, now what we have is this function here equaling, equaling excuse me, this function here if we convert the divergence theorem into two dimensions. But let's look a bit more about these two new expressions or at these two new expressions. Let's first look at the surface integral of the divergence of A which is down here. If we take the divergence of a, we're going to get this expression in here, del a sub x del x plus del a sub y del y. That's pretty straightforward. Now let's look at this expression here. We're simply going to take the dot product and see what happens. Well that's written down here and we're going to get the closed line integral of a sub x i hat dot dx i hat plus a sub y j hat dot dy j hat. Very straightforward stuff. Putting this all together, we can suggest that the two-dimensional divergence theorem is none other than the closed uh, line integral of a dot n hat dl, which is equal to the surface area 
excuse me, the surface integral of the divergence of A. Is this Green's theorem?